We've got a big comeback that's happening. It's really happening all across our city. We hear about it all the time, but what about the neighborhoods? Yes, and many rely on their local community centers to empower the families living there. And among them is the Brightmoor Community Center, which is making a difference in the lives of the old and young alike. Well, I think what makes Brightmoor unique is one of the, uh, the uh, oldest neighborhoods in the community. And our struggles are, uh, we are a community that has been neglected by government at all levels. So the Brightmoor Community Center um, serves as a service to the community at all ages. We look at everyone from child, uh, infancy to uh, seniors. Then we have uh, a program that was designed by a young man who grew up in the neighborhood uh, called I'm Going to College. We have seniors who come and they exercise daily. We have academic assistance that uh, students can come here and they can get homework assistance and they can be adopted. They can have a mentor who will walk with them from middle school all the way through college. Our plan is not only from the philanthropic community, but to uh, engage every citizen. Reverend V. Lonnie Peake Jr. brought us this story of the Brightmoor Community Center and took us along with her partners at Wayne County Community College District. Good morning, Rev. Good morning. How are you? How are we doing today? This is an area that's getting some good attention, I think, for good reason, Brightmoor, yes, right? Yes, yes. Brightmoor has been one of those districts in the city, a community, and back in the 80s, they kind of felt as though Government folks are not taking care of what needed to be done, so they formed the Brightmore Community Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dennis Talbert is the CEO. He's chair of the board. He's also uh, head of the youth ministry at Rosedale Baptist, Baptist Church. So he's okay. right there in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So he's done an excellent job of organizing it. It's, it's an interesting community because mm -hmm. what you can see are the new improvements and you can see the old. Mm -hmm. So it's a multi-ethnic they have uh, black folks, brown folks, had a large Appalachian white hmm. component, probably the largest mm -hmm. in, in Detroit. So it's, it's, it's a good history, but it's also good forward thinking. Okay, now tell us about some of the programs taking place there. They have a mentoring program, obviously, where they mentor the youth. Uh, they have a community outreach. They deal with, if there's a drug house, mm -hmm. they go to the drug house and eventually the drug house disappears, wow. goes away. They say that part of their goal and objective is to reclaim the community. Wow. So they, they're not uh, adversarial with them. They just mm -hmm. kind of talk to the folks and say eventually one drug house after another leaves. Wow. So it's a good, it's a good place to be. So it's too easy for a lot of people to just say, you know, the good stuff we hear about in Midtown mm -hmm. and Downtown isn't going to neighborhoods. Sometimes yes. we hear great stories like this. Yes. How can people support Brightmore? Uh, as we see right there, they can go to their website. One thing I want to mention, yeah. when they were having a difficult time, the community came, cut the grass, wow. kept the community center going up, so oh. they felt that camaraderie. Nobody broke in, none mm -hmm. of that stuff. So, yeah. yes, help bright more. Dennis Talbert's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a preacher like you. Okay, <laughs> okay good. So he's part of the club. Yeah, there you go. Club. All he's right, so people can just help out in any way they can. Yes, and they're looking for volunteers, particularly in the area of mentoring. Okay. Because they, want, they mentor young men and young, they mentor young women. It's a good place to go and just feel yep. the progress that they're making and the dedication that they're making. And they believe, and they believe in the city awesome. That's Did you awesome. notice that Reverend Lonnie is just what? a little more laid back? I think it's because of 4th of July I know. weekend. He's always we laid back all and lean cool. Back. We should <laughs> all lean back here. together. Thank you for being it's, here. It's good, it's good to be here. Good to be Thank seen. Yeah. So we want to know about the special organizations making a difference in your community.